Batman follows an extremely strict diet plan that often puts others to shame. I've admired Batman's determination since I was a kid, and his diet plan is remarkable for a guy as active as he is, pushing even the most disciplined individuals to the limits of what they're willing to eat day after day with no end, and often no exceptions. Batman's most recent canon diet plan in DC Comics has been depicted as him eating six clean and simple meals a day that never changes. For breakfast, Bruce eats a bowl of plain oatmeal, a banana and two boiled eggs, along with what must be sugarless orange juice or green tea. Then for a second breakfast, he eats tuna and four rice cakes with peanut butter. For lunch, Bruce always eats grilled chicken, a baked potato, steamed vegetables with some vitamins. A few hours later, after his midday workout, he eats oatmeal crackers, fruit, and cottage cheese. Then for dinner, before he goes out to eat criminals and justice for six or so hours, Bruce usually eats more grilled chicken, fish, or steak with steamed vegetables vegetables and rice or pasta. Then around 6 a.m., after he gets back from a night on the town, Bruce downs a protein shake often mixed with fruits and vegetables before going to bed. But what most people would find really weird is Batman often changes the way in which he consumes his meals and any additional meals to make for the quickest use of his time, which also raises the question, how many calories does Batman need to eat every day? The answer is just as absurd as you might think. In various Batman media, Bruce has shown that he often eats many, if not all of his meals completely blended to save him the time of having to chew and digest his meals, allowing him to stuff himself full of everything he needs from nutrients to calories before night falls. Many gastroenterologists say that most people don't chew their food nearly enough, often swallowing their meals in chunks, leading them to not producing enough enzymes to break down their food, absorbing less nutrients, and having to eat even more food than they normally would. Research shows that optimally you should chew your food so much much that turns into a liquid before swallowing, infusing your food with more of your saliva while signaling your body to produce even more enzymes to break down your food, while also allowing you to digest faster, which if you're Batman and need to get back to another training session or suddenly take on Bane, his blend only motto is rather important. Something useful in Batman's routine is being careful exactly what types of food you eat at certain times of the day to make sure you always stay at peak performance, especially if you plan on doing multiple workouts throughout the day and then stay up all night long. Researchers found that eating your largest amount of protein during whenever your first meal of the day is to be the best time, as we usually metabolize protein much more efficiently in the earlier part of the day. With the pioneering geneticist Theodosius Dobshansky saying nothing in biology makes sense except in the light of evolution, as we evolved to hunt, forage, and move around in the sun, so we also tend to utilize protein and fat much better when ingested early in the day. Carbohydrates, on the other hand, specifically starchy carbohydrates, being your complex carbs like pasta, potatoes, rice, and wheat, have been found to be better eaten later in the day, as they help the body to produce the chemical serotonin, which aids the body in relaxing and falling asleep as the night approaches. Which, if you're Batman, could be a bit of a problem, as he needs to stay at his most alert during the night. But in Batman's training video, we learn that Bruce follows an extremely risky sleep schedule to save time that may also deal with the problem of of him falling asleep at the wheel of a nuclear-powered car due to eating too much rice before donning the cape and cow, given that it would still take quite a lot of carbs to force you into a food coma. But Bruce, however, being human, or rather the writers, because if you've seen my other videos, this guy is most certainly a superhuman in his own right, does occasionally dip into the sin of sugar. Batman is known to very occasionally enjoy his favorite white chocolate cookies, buttered popcorn, the occasional pretzel, burger, or pizza slice, depending on which version of Batman you're looking at, letting many people, including his own son, see that he still has a regular soul. But one thing that Batman consistently does is he never drinks alcohol. When hosting one of his many I'm Not Batman parties, Bruce drinks ginger ale instead of champagne, and when working undercover as his alias matches Malone, he gets away with drinking root beer instead of beer. Since alcohol is always treated as a toxin in the body, the body will always prioritize rushing to get rid of it, causing the processing of alcohol to to essentially take over one's metabolism, putting other processes like protein synthesis for muscle building, fat burning, and recovery of body tissue completely on hold. Alcohol also is a diuretic, which would cause Batman to quickly become dehydrated, not to mention the heavy effects it would have on his brain. If Batman, who is not used to alcohol, drank a beer, it would reach and begin affecting his brain within 5 to 10 minutes, blocking the chemical signals between the neurons in his brain, leading to poor reflexes 
illnesses, lousy balance, memory, speech and judgment impairments, and leading to impulsive behavior. Now that we know just what and how my favorite childhood superhero eats every single day, let's look at the absolutely monstrous amount of calories that Batman consumes. Everyone has their own basal metabolic rate, or rather how many calories they burn just to simply stay alive each and every day. With the total amount of calories that Batman, who's often depicted as being 32 years old, 6 feet 2 inches tall, and weighing 225 pounds, were burn just to exist, would see him burning about 2,190 calories per day. Taking this data and putting it into what's known as the Harris-Benedict formula, which calculates the total number of calories someone would burn through and would have to replace based on their activity level times their basal metabolic rate, and placing Batman in the highest extra active category, based on this category we find that Batman would burn through and would have to consume around 4,160 61 calories a day. But there's one problem with this. The extra active category goes for an individual who does what's considered very hard exercise or sports training for one or maybe two times a day. Batman, on the other hand, works out three times a day, performing three very intense training sessions morning, afternoon, and evening six to seven days a week, where he sometimes has been known to run a marathon on his off day. Then every night he runs around for an additional five to six hours getting another intense workout in. This would mean that Batman, having blown way past what counts as extra active, would need to eat far more calories than the Harris-Benedict formula predicts. Since Batman's extra active calculation of 4,161 calories is a rough estimate based on him working out about two times a day like a professional athlete or someone who does a lower to moderate intensity workout for four to five hours a day, and 2,190 of these calories he burns are used to simply maintain his base metabolism, we could roughly estimate that Bruce would need to eat closer to an extra 2,000 calories for two workouts, or 1,000 calories per each of his training sessions. To double check that this number isn't totally wrong, we can compare it to research found by the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute. On the average amount of calories, a male would burn through per hour of extremely vigorous activity. Interestingly, we find that our number of 1,000 calories burned matches close to but actually below the number of calories a 225 pound male would burn per hour of extremely strenuous activity, as someone of Bruce's weight would roughly burn closer to 1,182 calories per hour. So using the nice round number of 1,000 calories per hour of working out, and since Batman works out three times a day for an hour to sometimes an hour and a half, the number of calories Bruce burns for a day of training can be roughly measured to be around 3,000 thousand, with him burning anywhere from another two to three thousand calories every night he's crusading around the city for five to six hours, putting the total amount of calories Batman burns working out every day at five to six thousand, then adding this number with the additional 2,190 calories that Batman burns to maintain his base metabolism, this puts Batman at needing to eat roughly seven to eight thousand calories every day, not to mention just wearing that suit must be like wearing a weighted vest or bodysuit. But if none of this was very exciting, then I saved my most interesting fact for last. Batman has to be careful what he eats to keep his outrageous IQ of 192 sharp at all times. As Batman's so smart that he speaks over 40 languages, has built his own teleporter from scratch, and created a fully functioning cloning machine. As in the next video, we go over how smart Batman really is. And next time you subscribe to her channel, I hope Hope you think of me.